Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to share a screen or screen mirror from our Vivo phone to a smart TV. In this case, I'll use a Vivo V40 SE phone and a Secotec television with the Android TV operating system to perform the procedure. In this case, we won't have to do anything on the TV since for many years now, all TVs have pre-activated the whole screen mirroring or screen sharing issue. That is to say, we don't have to install or activate anything at all. In this case, for example, the TV is an Android TV, it has Chromecast integrated, and we don't have to do anything, just leave it as it is, turn it on, and that's it. Now, let's go to the important thing, which is how to share the screen from our Vivo phone. The first thing we have to do is go to the phone settings. So, of course, in the menu, we're going to look for the settings icon, the one with the cogwheel. Once we're in settings, we're going to head to the Bluetooth and devices section. Inside Bluetooth and devices, we're going to press where it says smart screen mirroring. In this case, as I'm using a V40SE, I get smart screen mirroring, but it's possible that if your Vivo phone isn't this model, you'll also see simply screen mirroring. No worries, the process is the same. We enter this option and as you can see, some different possibilities appear. At the top, we've got the option that we're most interested in, which is to connect with a device to mirror the screen, that is, to do a total screen mirroring of the phone on our TV. Although, as you can see, we could also send a video, send images, or send only music without having to share all the content. But all right, let's focus on the main thing, which is sharing your entire phone on your television. To do this, we're going to tap up here where it says connect a device to mirror screen. As you can see, there's a notification below saying, ensure that the phone and the large screen device, meaning the TV, are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. This isn't strictly necessary. It's true that they need to be connected to the same router, not necessarily to the Wi-Fi. Obviously, the phone should be connected via Wi-Fi, that's mandatory, but the TV can be connected by cable as long as they share the same router. Another problem you might encounter, as you can see, is that it can't find the device. No matter how many times I refresh from up here, it searches for devices and couldn't find anything at all. I've noticed something about this V40SE that might work for you. Right now, it's searching for devices, not finding any. But if you tap on the question mark up here, which is just the help, simply accessing the help and going back. As you can see, it does perform the search and Android TV appears, which is this television. In fact, as you can see, it has already found the device. It's an option, okay? If the device doesn't find you, try to do that. Just click here and go back. Because I think maybe, well, they will fix it with some update, but just in case it happens to you, well, hey, it may be that it is solved in this way to me. It has served me. Once we have located the device, in this case, as you can see, Android TV, we are simply going to have to tap on it. We give it to start now to pass the image. And as you see, the television changes and the phone already appears. We can return to the main menu and as you can see, we already have the duplication done. As you can observe, the duplication of the phone is complete. We can see totally everything we have on the mobile on the television screen. Simply comment that because of the issue of wireless screen sharing. We're going to have a slight delay between what we do on the phone and what's shown on the screen. As you can see, I'm sliding it to the side and first it happens on the phone and then it happens on the screen. It's a matter of milliseconds. But anyway, just know that you have a slight delay and also the screen resolution. The resolution while transferring the image wirelessly, if you view it on TV, it's not going to be as high as on the phone. That is, the phone's display looks far superior to what you then see on the TV. Once we've shared the phone, then with this method, we can do everything we do on the phone. But by transferring it to the TV, we can, for example, go to the gallery and display any photo. Actually, right now I have it like this, but if we rotate it on the phone, as you can see, the TV also rotates, okay? We can also switch it to landscape mode without any trouble. We can expand. We can do everything as if it were the phone. Even, for example, if we go to a video, there would be no problem in putting the video because it plays peacefully and without any kind of difficulty. As well as in case you want, you can also play a game. In this case, I have put the Call of Duty Mobile, and as you can see, we could also access the game. 
Although in this case for having this small delay, well, I don't recommend it at all, especially in online games, okay? Because you're going to have a small delay between what you do on the phone and what you see on the screen. It would be good, for example, to put a controller of the play, for example, to the controller and play on TV, but you would have that small delay. But anyway, if you want, you can also play games without any kind of problem. And to finish, well, if you want to make the disconnection and return to the normal system of television, well, we return to the same section, Bluetooth and devices. We go to duplication of intelligent screen. We go up here where we have gone before. And in this same screen below, we click on disconnect. In this way, as you see, the phone gets disconnected and the TV returns to the initial menu. Well, guys, well, here ends the video. As always, I hope having helped you, if it has been so, don't forget to leave me a good like and subscribe to the channel in order not to miss anything. I, for my part, nothing more as always, a pleasure. And until the next video.